Hello, Anderton, one more time. Um, just these two things. I feel like we're just not communicating or you're missing my points. So I'm going to make these video, this video for you. Okay, I'm going to start a brand new project. I'm going to choose blank project. I'm going to save it. And um, just leave out of here. And I'll just call it test. Okay. So we have a brand new project to work on. So two things. Number one, the first thing is, is um, let me just uh, insert a Dimension Pro real quick. I'll leave it on MIDI out right now. It doesn't matter. So I'm showing you the input. MIDI input. So right now, <clears throat> I actually have my MIDI controller plugged in, but it didn't choose it as default, which I don't know if that's that's um, the default behavior. But it sets it to this weird state, which is Omni and None. And if I select None, it doesn't change it to None down here. It leaves it as Omni. So I'm expecting when I go to none, I have no inputs. Therefore, no MIDI information. If there's any problems with the MIDI outs over here, nothing can get into this track anyway, because I'm thinking it's on none. Hey, I selected none, right? But yet it's actually Omni. That seems like a problem. And in fact, uh, so a private conversation I was having with an engineer at Cakewalk, I brought it to their attention and they thought it was quite interesting. But you're telling me this is um standard behavior and this is the way it should be in fact you have a all inputs midi omni that's what all that's that's the same thing as choosing none right now because none goes to omni so that's the first thing okay so the fact that this is a problem creates a problem for me over here which also doesn't make sense so Excuse me. So here's the issue. I just don't understand. I, I understand what you're saying, that you have to have it ask you every time, okay, because the VST sends a flag to the, to the host saying, hey, I have MIDI out, so I'm going to enable it. Okay, then it should be removed from this area. In here, I feel like this shouldn't exist because if I have this off, okay, and then I, um, I'm sorry, if I have this off and I select not to ask me and that's a new dimension, it's on anyway. So why have that option in here? Maybe that option should only come up when it asks you every time. You know, when it asks you every time, it works, right? So let's insert another dimension. Ask me, I'm turning it off. And that worked. You're going to see it's disabled here. Right, so, excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. But um, as you see, that works. So perhaps, to not confuse the users, it should be, it shouldn't be here, in this, when you, when you click on synth options, because these are defaults. All these other ones work, right? If I want to create a synth track folder and all stereo outs, and that works, I'm sorry, let's, let, let's not even ask every time. Well, let's do this, not ask every time and synth track folder and stereo outs without asking right i can do one it works it creates the folder and it creates a stereo out if there were more stereo outs you would see 16 of them or whatever but it doesn't follow this sorry this so what's the point of having this in here if it doesn't work uh that's pretty much it so i hope you understand these two little gripes i have but they cause me personally a lot of issues, and if they're not if they're not uh, affecting other people, which there are some, still, I think it's just something that just needs to be some you know the the track thing for sure needs to be fixed, and um, you know the MIDI out too. I think they should remove it from this window to not confuse users. Thank you very much.